and welcome back to my channel today I have got a video for you am I in focus I don't know hmm am I in focus maybe if I sit here okay cool let's try that again hi everyone and welcome back to my channel today I have got a haul video for you I have got for you a pound land makeup haul so we have got a few items here and I've used them to create this look here so keep tuned because a tutorial or testing video in fact will be coming very soon for you so keep an eye out for that so you can see how I've created this look with these items so let's get on with the video don't forget to like and subscribe and let's jump straight into it so the first item I have got to show you is the Makeup Gallery Gorgeous Flawless Long Lasting Foundation. This is in the shade Warm Ivory Number no. 2. Uh, this one was actually quite a good match to my skin colour I think, it's worked quite nicely. Uh, it's got a thick sort of cream kind of consistency but the application it comes out quite thin so I would say this is quite a light to medium coverage, more swaying towards the light coverage so if you are just a very natural makeup kind of look kind of person this is probably good for you um, just to help sort of brighten up your face a little bit for a normal natural kind of look then yeah this is probably the one for you um, for any other people that like their foundation to be a bit more fuller coverage, fuller coverage then you may want to layer this or maybe try a different one because it does come up quite thin you can still pretty much see what's going on on your face really if you're a full coverage fan you will know what I mean um, so yeah this is a pretty good find very good for every day also very good for beginners if you're just trying it out for an early stage then yeah that's pretty good and not bad for a pound really can't really argue with that can ya Next up I have got the Hide and Chic Makeup Gallery Concealer, I've got this in Ivory number no. 1, looks like this, just sort of looks like a lipstick and it is a lipstick shape as well. This I would say is pretty much like drawing with a crayon on your face, I was not really impressed with this one. Um, it feels really sort of, it's difficult to draw on, I only tried it on my eyes because it was so difficult to get it on, it is pretty much like trying to paint with a crayon. Um, it was difficult to blend out to begin with but then afterwards it did begin to blend and it was okay but it left it feeling a bit tacky um, but it, it does the job it pretty much matched my skin tone rather than lightened it though and I think this was the lightest one I could find so yeah not 100% happy with this one but you know you can't win them all and you know for a pound it's not really too bad is it um, but yeah it did the job but just didn't blow me away really Next up we have got the Makeup Gallery Smoothly Does It Pressed Powder, that's this one here. I've got this in translucent number one. Uh, perfectly happy with this, did the job just as I wanted it to, didn't change the colour of my foundation or anything. Uh, it took the dampness out of the foundation as it's a liquid, you know, they can get a bit tacky and this sorted that one out, mattified it all for me. Yeah, no qualms with this one at all, quite like this one, very pleased with it, for a pound, you know, what? you can't go wrong with this. And yeah, pleasantly surprised. I like the packaging as well, I think it looks quite classy and quite nice but yeah very happy with this one next up we have got the makeup gallery define and conquer contour kit uh, I've got this in the shade light one so the there is a cream highlight here and a dark powder contour here I tried the contour only because I'd already put my powder on and I don't want to put cream on top of that so I will try that again at some point uh, but the contour worked quite nicely it's given me a bit of color there uh, it took a little while once you get past the top layer then you're fine with it um, but before that point it was a bit difficult to get anything off but once I'd done that uh, it came off quite nicely and blended out very nicely as well so yeah quite pleased with that and it's a nice not too dark and it's sort of a muted shade no glitter in there either so it's really nice for just doing a bit of contour without bronzing up all your face Next up we have got a blusher, this is the Makeup Gallery Feeling Blush Blusher and I've got this in the shade Soft Blush 1. This was a nice powder blusher and it's a very nice sort of muted pink colour. This one is really good, a bit dusky, which works quite nicely for me. The less pinky pink it is, the better because I get quite a red face and it's quite pigmented as well so a little bit goes a long way with that and it's a nice buildable one. Not too much payoff to begin with but you can build it up to make it into a, a deeper colour as you like but for me I know little light coat worked perfectly fine and very good for a natural looking look and last two items I have got this one here oh no 
last three items even, I have got the uh, Makeup Gallery Glide Away Eyeshadow Stick, and this is in Antique Stain, uh, Antique Gold number three, in fact. It is a crayon eyeshadow, so you can see here it gives a really nice colour. Um, this one you can blend it out to make it lighter, or you can just draw it on and then just blend out the edges. But it gives a really nice look, and it looks pretty much the same colour as the packaging. Really easy to use, smooth, creamy application and works really well as well. Very happy with this one. Can't say enough for eyeshadow sticks. They're really handy for when you're in a rush or you don't know what you're doing with eyeshadow. These are a very good, easy fix and I would recommend. Next up we have got mascara and this is the Makeup Gallery Turn Up the Volume and Define Mascara. This is in black number two. The packaging on this, I just love this colour. I think it looks really, really cute and nice. Yeah, very happy with this. This is very good if you're going for a natural lengthening look. Um, not very clumpy and it's sort of quite lightweight and a bit on the watery side. So if you are a fan of a clumpy mascara, this is not the one for you. But if you are like me and you like your lashes looking very natural and separated, darkened, lengthened but not clumpy then this is the one for you and for a pound you can't really go wrong I really enjoyed using this and I will continue to use this for my everyday routines works very nicely for me so very happy with that and last up we have got the Makeup Gallery Pout Matters Matte Lip Colour and this is in the shade Vintage Pink so this one as you can see is not blowing you away with colour, it's a very nice sort of muted pink, lightens my lip colour a little bit, a little bit of pigment but not too much to blow you away and it works on really nicely. It's a little bit on the tacky side but that's okay, not too drying because you don't want to dry out your lips completely but it gives it a nice colour and a nice finish. If you want a more bolder colour this may take a few coats or maybe a darker shade would be better but this one, quite happy with this for a very natural looking look. So guys, that is what I picked up in my makeup haul from Poundland. Let me know what's your favourite item from my haul. Do you have any other recommendations of other places where you would like me to try out and test the makeup from? Don't forget, if you enjoyed this video, to give it a thumbs up so I know you liked it. And subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you very soon with a new video. Bye.